Yo, what up? Marvin here with Stay Fit with the Lord, where we help you to improve your spirit and fitness by focusing on God first. And on this channel, we do a lot of videos on the actions to take to grow your relationship with God and to improve your health. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you're notified every time a new video comes out. Give this video a like if you're wanting to grow your relationship with God. Let me ask you a question. Would you go outside barefoot with no shoes on? No, right? What would happen if you went outside with no shoes on? Your feet would hurt and get dirty. And depending where you go, you can step in rocks, dirt, mud, water, you get the picture. So why is it that as followers of Christ, we don't put on the shoes of the gospel? I will be going over scripture in the Bible where it tells us to put on the shoes of the gospel. And three ways to implement this weapon that God has blessed us with. In this video, coming up. So in this six video series, we have been talking about putting on the full armor of God. In Ephesians 6, 14, it says, Stand therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints, and for me, that utterance may be given to me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains, that in it I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. The first way to implement the shoes of the gospel is to walk a great distance. As in the previous videos, we have been looking at the Roman soldier and their armor to further explain the full armor of God. So Roman soldiers would march for miles and miles and miles through all types of different terrains. As they marched through the terrain, they wanted to make sure that their feet were protected and that they weren't gonna get hurt walking through rocks, water, mud. So in this essence, what they were on their feet was critical. Can you imagine if they walked barefoot? How far would they get? How would their feet feel when entering a battle? To put it in today's terms and make it more relatable, just like tennis shoes, which are meant to help you exercise and to run and walk farther. God has blessed us with the shoes of the gospel to walk a great distance. Having personally worked in a career that has me on my feet and walking several miles a day, it made me realize how much footwear really matters. If your shoes start to make your feet hurt, you're in pain, your focus will be derailed as you can only think about how much your feet hurt. Our shoes do the same. We walk Comforted by our Prince of Peace. His yoke is easy and burden is light compared to what the world has to offer. Being followers of Christ is not easy, but God gives us these shoes of the gospel to help us go great distances in our walk. The second way to implement these shoes of the gospel of peace is we are to go and share the gospel without hesitation. Just like the Roman soldiers, had already made up in their mind and were ready for battle. We must also choose to follow Jesus no matter what and be ready for battle. Fear and not being certain can stop us from sharing the gospel. If we are watching the news every day and being fed all the bad things that are going on in this world, it will trip us from being ready. And having that readiness that comes from walking in the gospel of peace. We will hesitate or worry and not be effective soldiers. The third way to implement the shoes of the gospel of peace is God called us to walk together. Roman troops advance 
information. Not only does this intimidate the enemy, but they would go right through through any threats. Can you imagine one Roman soldier trying to attack his enemy? What do you think is going to happen to that one Roman soldier? Most likely, he's not going to stand a chance, right? In the same way, we as followers of Christ need one another and won't stand a chance against the enemy by ourselves. I really want you to get the picture, so let me give you another example. Have you ever ran a marathon before or seen a marathon? Why is it that marathons are ran amongst a lot of people and not just one? Can you imagine running a marathon by yourself? Would you go further by yourself or with a crowd? The answer to that question is crystal clear, right? With a crowd, you will go further. The same applies to our walk with Christ. Believers must walk together, fit it with the good news of peace. I want to encourage us to have a one minute written testimony of how you have seen God move in your life. So the next time you feel led by the Holy Spirit to share with someone, you will not hesitate and you will share the good news of the gospel. So I hope and pray that this message was powerful and helpful. So I challenge you today, not tomorrow, not next week, not next month, not next year, but today to really pray deep and ask God to give you the strength and power that first thing in the morning, you will put on the whole armor of God. You will put on the belt of truth. You will put on the breastplate of righteousness to protect your heart. And you will put on the shoes of the gospel of peace. And trust me, he will. So I highly encourage you to give it a try. Nah, you know what? Scratch that. Don't try it. Do it. You're watching this video for a reason, right? So take action and do it. Believe it or not, putting on the shoes of the gospel of peace has completely changed my life forever. These steps are the actions that I have taken to be consistent with putting on the shoes of the gospel of peace. So I challenge you to put on the shoes of the gospel of peace for just seven days and see how God will give you peace and how you will deepen your relationship with God and how God will bless you through this. Do this for seven days and comment below with your experience to encourage others. The question of the day, do you believe that if you are ready, fitted with the gospel of peace, if you do this daily, that God will reveal himself? in a new way let me hear from you in the comment section below i hope you found this message powerful and helpful and that god bless you with a revelation on how and why you should be ready with your feet fitted with the gospel of peace every day my mission is to help people stay fit with the lord just like we go to the gym to improve our health i want people to come to this channel to renew their spirit but i can't do it by myself i need your help so if you want to support my mission, make sure to do these three things. Number one, like this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. And number three, share this video. So if God used this video to speak to you, please don't keep it to yourself. Be a blessing and share this video with someone you think God would use to renew their spirit just like he did right now with you. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Subscribe if you haven't yet. It really helps me a lot. Until next time, stay fit with the Lord is helping you to improve your spirit and fitness by focusing on God first and giving you actions to take to grow your relationship with God and to improve your health. This is a six video series where we look at the six pieces of the armor of God, which are number one, belt of truth. Number two, breastplate of righteousness. Number three, feet fitted with the gospel of peace. Number four, shield of faith. Number five, helmet of salvation. And number six, sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. On the next video, we will talk on number four, shield of faith. You don't want to miss it. Let's continue to stay fit with the Lord and let God change and transform us spiritually and physically. Let me know what kind of videos you would like me to do or any comments you may have in the comment section below. Yeah, have a blessed day. Peace out. And remember, there's only one way to stay fit for life, and that's 
Stay fit with the Lord.